Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm out working in the oil patch and I'm doing some soil surveying. And so I thought I'd show you some of the tools of the trade and show you what soil's all about. Anyways, on the uh, left here, I've got a soil probe. It's made out of stainless steel, it's quite heavy. And it's there to uh, get a soil core. I'll show you how to use that a little later. Anyways, maybe I'll just show you the tip here, if I can. So the tip of the thing is sort of choked down a little bit, and that's so that the soil core doesn't get bound up in the uh, barrel. And the barrel is sort of split almost in half, not quite, so that we can get the soil core out. The next thing here is a till shovel. Um, a till shovel is long and narrow, um, specifically made for digging small uh, narrow holes in the soil. I've welded a couple of weights on the top and that's just so that it uh, when you're using frozen ground, when you're digging in frozen ground um, you sort of have to chop like an axe and so if you have a heavier implement it works better. The last thing here, I don't know, you can probably notice it's quite a bit longer this is called a Dutch auger. Now a Dutch auger um, is for getting a deep, deep hole. Maybe you can see the shape of it. And it sort of drills a hole in the uh, soil, which will give you an idea of the texture and color of the soil uh, horizons. However, it does screw up the soil. It, uh, I don't know, it's like taking shavings out of the soil. And as a result, you don't really get an idea of the structure of the soil. Okay, well, it's kind of windy. I'm going to get a hole right here and let's just see how it works. Alright, well, this is my soil core. Um, hopefully it'll focus on this so you can see it. There's the soil surface, and I suppose the mineral surface is in around here somewhere. That's where the uh, actual mineral content starts. This is all organic. And then in the mineral topsoil, um, the AH, which means A horizon as opposed to B and then C later, the AH contains humus, that's decayed organic matter. Below that we've got an uh, alluviated section, which I'll say is the AHE, which means that it has some humus, some organic content, but it has been rinsed out really, really, really thoroughly. And so AHE meaning alluviated. Below that we've got the B, and I think we've got an AB, G meaning the glaying, that's the orange spots, I don't know if you can see those. Two about here. Below that we've got a finer texture, more of a clay loam here. And so in the clay loam section, I'll call that a BT, meaning texture. The texture is one class uh, finer. And so BT, and I'll continue to call it a G as well, BTG. So we've got LFH, that's litter, fibrous, humic, and that's organic. And then in the mineral topsoil we've got an AH, then an AHE, followed by an ABG, and then followed by a BTG. Anyways, below that would be a C horizon. It's been rinsed down from rainwater, rinsing downwards, any soluble components are rinsed down and out of the uh, topsoil into the lower layers. The B horizon is the zone of accumulation of anything that has been rinsed out, like soluble components, salts, organic matter, that kind of thing, clays, they are rinsed down into and deposited in the B horizon, the zone of accumulation. So that's a soil probe, and that's how a soil probe works. You essentially drill a core, a soil core, out of the ground. 
once you've drilled the soil core out of the ground, then you cut off half of it so that you can see the exposed uh, structure and the different layers or horizons as we go down. Now this is our Dutch auger. Um, I'll just show you what it does, how it works, and then I'll look at the uh, soil and see if we can see any difference. Okay, so let me just get a knife out here. This is what a soil auger does, a Dutch auger. And I don't know if you can see that it sort of screws up the soil. So you really don't see the structure. You can see the color, but the structure is sort of destroyed. That's what an auger does. It shears it up with the cutting surface. And so you've destroyed the texture, uh, sorry, the uh, structure. However, the texture, in terms of sand, silt, and clay, and the color, are still visible. And so it is useful. Um, it also goes to a much greater depth. And so, in that respect, if you wanted to know what the sea looks like, you can get way deep. So, so that's a till shovel. Um, this is what it does. It digs a very narrow plug of soil. And you can see the top layers quite well. And you can continue to dig for quite some distance. And if you lay your soil out properly, you can have a whole clock of the different textures of soil. So, I have dug my uh, hole. My hole's 50 centimeters deep with the shovel. There's the top soil. There's the A-E, A-H-E. The A-B is in here. The B-T-G is down here. I can also use it with the Dutch auger and continue to go deeper. Okay, so I've gone about a meter deep. Um, and maybe this is at about the bottom. Maybe you can see the difference. I don't know. Let me get a knife out. This is a block from the shovel. This is a block from the auger. Can you see the sort of shearing up in here? You've destroyed the soil or structure with the auger. However, with the shovel, you can break it apart and see the soil structure. Maybe you can see a difference in color though, can you? This is the sea horizon, sort of a dark brown, high clay content. I don't know if you can see it shine or not. Where it's very shiny like this, it means it has a very high clay content. And this is the uh, BT immediately above it. And you can cut it with a knife just to get some idea of what's inside. What it would look like on a cut surface. Like that. Difference in color, I hope. A little bit higher uh, gravel content in the sea as well, in this area. Well, that's it. Soil profiling. One last thing before I go. Always, 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 if you do this job, try and remember to fill in your holes. And personally, I like to fill them in in the same order uh, they were before. Subsoil at the bottom. And topsoil at the top. And in the end, Tap it off with its soil plug, that's this one, stomp it down. There, that's environmentally friendly.